Nice one. Evening, folks. I'm live. Keep quiet. Well, I'm, broad I'm, broad I'm broadcasting. I'm sorry to sound it. Hey. Right, that's fine. Yeah. Your comment, the comments. Comments, comments will come up in a minute, Bill, but I'm live, so I'm going to go on with what I'm going to say, because I need to finish it, alright? This is an actual broadcast, mate. I'll phone you back shortly. Night, <laughs> turn out. A wee bit of high-pitched tweeting. Yeah, I'll turn the sound back down a wee bit. Um, at the end of this one. As long as you can hear me, alright? Right, folks, once a few years are aboard, I want to talk a wee bit about electricity and Westminster State, and they might know by electricity for Scotland eh, after eh, independence. Right? We story for you here. The UK imports 24.6 tera, tera, terawatts of energy. Not just electricity, but energy per year. It's broken down into categories like fossil fuels, um, wind energy, hydro energy, and uh, other forms of generation, gas generation, that sort of thing. Okay. Now, England and the southeast imports most of its uh, energy uh, needs, believe it or not, from France, um, and it comes through a two gigawatt uh, connector. The rest of the uh, England and Northern Ireland import their energy requirements from Scotland, who is a net exporter of all sorts of energy, not just electricity. But when it comes to electricity generation, we've got a couple of nuclear plants, but a couple of them are break down, uh, are about to shut down. We've got a, we've got wind generation, wave generation still uh, experimental, um, and we'll get gas generation and hydro generation. Okay. Now, what's interesting is, although the southeast is getting its electricity from France, the rest of England is getting it through a 3.5 gigawatt connection to Scotland. Okay. And there's also a connection between Scotland and Northern Ireland. It's a um, one gigawatt connector, interconnector. And there's a return connector from mainland, uh, from Southern Ireland to England, which is a 0.5 um, gigawatt connector. So England is a net importer of energy, and our bulk, the bulk of it is what we are overproducing. Okay? So the idea that England won't buy electricity for us after independence is ludicrous. England is dependent on us for a uh, electricity, huge amounts of it, and the the notion that they won't be buying electricity for us is absolutely mad, absolutely mad. What are they going to do? Let the lights go in England. Going to let the lights go all the north of England, because let's face it, if we vote for independence next year, they won't have enough time to put in their interconnectors to France to um, Holland. Um, and they certainly it'd be much more expensive than just buying it through the grid that already exists from us. Are they going to let the lights go in Northern Ireland? Because Northern Ireland imports their electricity for Scotland as well. This is pure scaremongering crap. England doesn't have the generating capacity to keep the lights on without the interconnector to Scotland, the interconnector to France, and the interconnector to Southern Ireland. England is a huge net importer of electricity. If it wasn't for that interconnector eh, for Southern Ireland um, across to um, Wales, well, the lights in Cardiff. Simple as that. If it wasn't for the, uh, the interconnector for Scotland and Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland doesn't generate enough eh, electricity for its needs. The lights go in Belfast. And the northern cities in England. 
if they don't want to buy their electricity for us, the lights will go off in the northern cities in England. Simple as that. So this stupid notion that England won't buy its electricity for Scotland after independence, absolute crap. No juice will England be buying its electricity for Scotland, it will be buying its gas from Scotland, and it will be buying its petrol and oil for Scotland. This scaremongering, we're going to see a lot merry, but it's just nuts, it's stupid. I've told you before, I've said this before, England require and relies heavily on Scotland for almost a, for a lot of its commodities. Heavily dependent on Scotland for commodities is England. It requires buys in huge amounts of food for Scotland. Huge amounts of alcohol for Scotland. It imports huge amounts of electricity for Scotland. It relies on Scotland's North Sea oil. It relies on Scotland's North Sea oil and gas to keep the lights in the air and, and the heating on down that road. And it'll continue to rely on us after independence. Because it's too bloody expen it's too bloody expensive for them to get it for elsewhere. It's much cheaper to get it for us, we're right next bloody door. They'll still rely on us for human resources as well. So there you have it folks. That's the electricity special. England can't afford to tell us that Disney want electricity for us. Because the lights would go in the north of England and there'd be bloody riots. So that's the electricity special folks. Just trying out the camera, making sure everything's working all right. Somebody's told me there's a wee bit of high pitch be uh, tweeting coming through. Um, so I'll check I'll rejig the sound and turn it down just a smidgen. Okie dokie. Have a pleasant evening. And uh, as I say, we're going to get a little merry of scaremongering. But as it comes along, I'll do these dark wee specials here and there just to debunk the crap. Alright? So England will still buy everything that they need for us because we are the next door neighbour and they require the stuff. That goes for food, drink, electricity, oil, gas, human resources. They were... When it comes to... When it comes to the negotiations on a trade deal, England holds absolutely no cards whatsoever. None. We're going to be able to strong arm them. Right, I'll catch you later, folks. There you go, the route. That's a dragon on the phone. Two seconds, dragon. I'm just rounding up a, a broadcast. No, no, just stay on the line. I'm just a very quick end broadcast. See you later, folks. That's the electricity special.